Hello everyone, welcome back to our ultrasonic kit for Arduino tutorial series. We've learned many devices so far. To make more things, you need to have a good demand of more knowledge. Today we're going to meet a thermistor. It is similar to a photoresistor in being able to change their resistance based on the outer change. Different from photoresistor, Resistance of a thermistor varies significantly with temperature in the outer environment. It has two types, negative temperature coefficient and positive temperature coefficient, also NTC and PTC. In this experiment, we use an NTC one. So let's get started. First, let's look at the experimental phenomenon. At the top is the centigrade degree on the LCD which here is about 31 degrees Celsius. And the Fahrenheit degree is shown at the bottom as about 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Hold the thermistor by fingers and we can see the temperature increases to about 35 to 36 degrees Celsius. 95 to 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Because the temperature of human body is a little higher than the room temperature. Release the thermistor and the value decreases again. So, in this experiment, we'll need the following components a breadboard, the Sunbounder Uno board, a USB cable, some drumming wires, LCD1602, a potentiometer, a 10K resistor, and a thermistor. The thermistor is a sensitive element and divided into two types. NTC and PTC, which we mentioned above, by different temperature coefficients. Its resistance varies significantly with temperature. The resistance of PTC thermistor increases with higher temperature when that of NTC decreases. The precision of NTC thermistors can be up to 0.1 degrees Celsius, and the time constant can be less than 10 seconds. They are applied to thermal detectors in bar, as well as temperature measurement in food storing, medicine and health, ocean, etc. Now let's see how the experiment works. The principle is that the resistance of the NTC thermistor changes with the temperature difference in the outer environment. It detects the real-time temperature of the environment. When the temperature gets higher, the resistance of the thermistor decreases and the voltage of pin A0 increases accordingly. The voltage data then is converted to a digital quantities by the AD adapter. The temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit then is output via programming and then displayed on LCD1602. In this experiment, a thermistor and a 10K pull-up resistor are used. Each thermistor has a normal resistance. Here it is 10K ohm, which is measured under 25 degrees Celsius. Here is the relation between the resistance and temperature change. RT means the resistance of the NTC thermistor when the temperature is TK. RN is the resistance of the NTC thermistor under the rated temperature, which is TN. Tk is a Kelvin temperature and the unit is K. Tn is a rated Kelvin temperature, the unit is K also. And better, here is the material constant of NTC thermistor, also called heat sensitivity index. And EXP is short for exponential, an exponential with the base number E, which is a natural number and equals 2.7 approximately. Note that the relation is an empirical formula. It is accurate only when temperature and resistance are within the effective range. Since Tk equals T plus 273, T is Celsius temperature, the relation between resistance and temperature change can be transformed into this. B, short for better, is a constant. Here it is 4090. R0 is 10K ohms and T0 is 25 degrees Celsius. The data can be found in the datasheet of the mister. 
Again, the above relation can be transformed into 1 to evaluate temperature. So log here means a natural logarithm, a logarithm to the base E. If we use a resistor with fixed resistance as 10 k ohms, we can calculate the voltage of the analog input pin A0 with this formula. So this relation can be formed. The voltage of A0 is transformed via AD adapter into a digital number A. Then replace V in the relation R equals to 5 multiply with 10 k ohm divided by V then deduct it by 10 k ohm and we can get this. Finally, replace R in the formula here, which is formed just now. Then we at last get the relation for temperature as this. The formula and calculation may be a little bit difficult, but you may understand it easily by following our steps. If you feel confused with any concept mentioned here, just Google it or post on our forum. Ok, now let's build a circuit. Hook up LCD1602 and the potentiometer to the breadboard. And then GND of the Sun Founder Uno board to the breadboard. Hook up pin K of LCD1602 to GND. A to 3.3 volts. D7 to pin 13. D6 to pin 12. D5 to pin 11. D4 to pin 10 E to pin 5 RW to G and D and RS to pin 4 Then connect OV of LCD1602 to the middle pin of the pot. VDD to 5 volts. And VSS to G and D. And connect one of the rest pins of the pod to J and D. Connect with the mister with the 10K resistor and then to A0. Hook up the rest pin of the 10K resistor to G and D. And the other pin of the thermistor to 5 volts. So unlike the principle, the circuit building is much simpler. Now open the IDE and type in your code. Define the header file. In this experiment, we need to quote an outside library liquid crystal, so add an include header file. Here I create a liquid crystal variable named LCD. All the subsequent liquid crystal statements are written in this format, lcd.function paraphrases. And this is one of the commonly used liquid crystal statements. 
RS here is the number of the UNO pin that is connected to the RS pin on the LCD. RW, the number of the UNO pin that is connected to the RW pin on the LCD. And enable is the number of the UNO pin that is connected to enable pin on the LCD. So this function means to connect RS to pin 4, E which is enable to pin 5, and D4 to D7 is hooked up to pin 10 to 13 respectively. Attach the thermistor to pin A0. Define the battery coefficient as 4090, which is described in the sheet of the mister. Define the pull-up resistance as 10K. What the begin function does is to initialize the interface to the LCD screen and specify the dimensions, like width and height, of the display. It should be called before any other LCD library commands. The general format is lcd.begin columns rows. Here set the display as 2 rows and 16 columns. The clear function, you can tell by its name, is to clear the LCD screen and positions the cursor at the upper left corner. Here as a loop function. Read the resistance value of the thermistor to A via the signal from the analog pin. Here use a long type to make the value of A to be a long integer. Define the variable equals to the result from the formula. Here, the data ship float is a type for floating point numbers, a number that has a decimal point. Floating point numbers are often used to approximate analog and continuous values because they have greater resolution than integers. Floating point numbers can be as large as about 3.4 plus 38 and as low as negative 3.4 plus 38 or so. They are stored as 32 bits, 4 bytes, of information. The formula here is to calculate the temperature in Celsius which we deduced previously. Then define the temperature in Fahrenheit. As we know, Fahrenheit equals to 1.8 multiplied with Celsius plus 32. Set the cursor at line 0, column 0. From here, the characters are to be displayed. Print the character TEMP, which means temperature, on the LCD. And then the value of the Celsius temperature. and the unit Celsius, C for short, on the LCD. Set the position of the cursor at line 1, column 0. The temperature in Celsius is to be displayed here. Similarly, here print the character FAHR on the LCD, which means Fahrenheit. Then the value of Fahrenheit temperature. Then print the unit Fahrenheit F for short on the LCD. 
Wait for 200 milliseconds. Okay, the code part is thus finished. Now connect the sun from the Uno board with the computer and upload the sketch onto the board. Now we can check the results. At the top is the centigrade degree on the LCD, which here is about 31 degrees Celsius. And the Fahrenheit degree is shown at the bottom as about 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Hold the thermistor by fingers and we can see the temperature increases to about 35 to 36 degrees Celsius. 95 to 96 degrees Fahrenheit because the temperature of the human body is a little higher than the room temperature. Release the thermistor and the value decreases again. Then that's all for our experiment today. The formula part may be sufficiently difficult to understand, but it is still understandable if you give patience and study the explanation part carefully. Once you get it understood, the next you'll be able to use it freely without any question. Or you can just adopt it without clear knowledge as you choose to. Again, for any questions or suggestions, do not hesitate to visit our website www.sunfounder.com and leave your comments or message. Thanks for watching. See you.